Hi, in this video, we are asked to solve the logarithmic equation simultaneously. So, the first thing we do here is that we consider equation number one. So, equation one says that a to the power of y is equal to 4 to the power of 2x plus 5. Now, we can express 8 in the parts of base 2 and also express 4 in the parts of base 2. So this becomes 2 to the power of 3y is equal to 2 to the power of 2 all to the power of 2x plus 5. So therefore, this becomes 2 to the power of 3y equal to now, for the right-hand side, we have that the index 2 times 2s is 4x, and also 2 times 5 is 10. Thus, since their bases are the same, the equation becomes 3y equal to 4x plus 10. So, let's go here equation 3. Now, also from equation 2, we have that log y to base 3 is equal to log x to base 3 plus 2. Now, since we have the base of 3 in our logarithm, we can express 2 to be 2, which will be equal to 2 times log 3 to base 3. This is because logarithm to each base is 1. So 2 times 1 is t2. And from the index law of logarithm, this can be expressed as log 3 squared or in base 3. So therefore, here we have to replace by this expression. So therefore, we have it that log y in base 3 will be equal to log x in base 3 plus log 9 or in base 3 because 3 squared is equal to 9. So here now we can apply the multiplication law of logarithm and the equation becomes log y in base 3 will be equal to log 9x or in base 3. So 9 times s is 9x. Now also since their bases are the same, the equation now becomes y equal to 9x. Now let's go here equation 4. So at this point, we have obtained equation 3 and also obtained equation 4. So we can now write that 3y equal to 4x plus 10, which is equation 3. And now for equation 4, we have that y is equal to 9x. So first, to obtain the value of x, we can substitute equation 4 into equation 3. So we have that this becomes 3, open bracket, y is equal to 9s. So we have 9x equal to 4x plus 10. So at this point, we can open up the bracket at the left-hand side. So 3 times 9s is 27x equal to 4x plus 10. So this becomes 27x minus 4x equal to 10. So at this point, we have it that this is 23x equal to 10. So therefore, x is equal to 10 divided by 23. Now, to obtain the value of y, we will substitute x equal to 10 divided by 23 into equation 4. So we have it that y is equal to 9s, which is our equation 4, and y becomes 9 multiplied by 10 divided by 23. So at this point, we have that y is equal to 9 times 10 is 90 divided by 23. So therefore, we have it that x is equal to 10 divided by 23 and y 
is equal to 90 divided by 23. Thank you so much for watching. And I know you have found the video helpful. Please don't forget to like the video and also subscribe to our channel for more exam questions like this. And I will see you in my next video. Bye.